Okay, quick update for Bitcoin on the YouTube side of things. So before we go on, we've got a merchandise store here. We are going to get some t-shirts up uh, soon. So just have a look if you want to buy any mugs or any iPhone cases and whatnot. Follow the link in the description. So with Bitcoin, ultimately, it's forming a next wave. And I still feel there is one more big push down towards, you know, 24962K. Short term, it's forming an inside day. Um, it's the third inside day, which probably means a big move quote unquote big move is is coming pretty soon wouldn't be surprised if it hits 3.9 then ends up forming a b wave so this this is probably an a leg it's probably right now in the midst of a b wave then we come down either to end up here or here and then possibly there's one more leg up which actually ends up breaking 4.2 before the large movement back down again this level here is 3.5 well 3520 this is the 78.6 retracement from this low to this high. And if that gets taken out, then it's no longer bullish in my opinion. Because if that gets taken out, we'll re-challenge 3.3, then 3.1 and probably end up going a lot lower. So really, we're on, we just have to wait and see really. As you can see, it has maintained this descending trend line, which is important. I mean, major trend lines on larger term time frames, they are important. So like I said... Wouldn't be surprised if we get a movement up towards 3.9, then end up going back down again to maybe, I don't know, 3.6. And I want to see this level hold. I don't want to see any daily close below here or any major, you know, 4, 8, 12 hourly candle close below here. If we get a wick below here, that's okay, but no major close. And then potentially there's one more movement up, um, which would then make this entire sequence more of a W x y to form the larger x so ultimately it's a w x y where the y is a w x y to form an x wave and um and then we're going to end up going lower again now this trend line is clearly important yeah so it's been mentioned a few times this weekly trend line going all the way back to last year basically it's touched this one two three four five six seven eight nine times that is cl clearly a very very important line and that's now coming in at you know let's say it does this does this maybe breaks 4.2 that's coming in at around 4700 which kind of makes sense because that's my next target so after 4200 gets if it gets broken it'll go to 47 and potentially 5000 but you know we'll we'll have to wait and see i'll try and do more regular daily updates because that's what people want so i'll try and do them if i can but like i said probably going to go up then movement back down and then let's see what happens at 3500 does it just completely fall apart and challenge these lows or do, do we end up getting one more impulsive leg that will be relative to this leg here so this leg here will be relative to this leg and then potentially we end up at i don't know 4700 maybe hit this trend line and then end up having that large movement back down again Anyway, I'll wrap it up there short and sweet. Hopefully you guys found that useful and I'll catch you guys soon.